So in order for us to have a comparison, let us first look at the default settings and its performance. This is the usual configuration we can find on the forums and on YouTube and is tailored specifically for Metal Gear Snake Eater. I'm on a 4040p screen so I have my resolution scale set to 1440p and because we're doing a benchmark, we would want our frame rate to output a higher than normal value, that's why I set the V-Blank to 120Hz to raise the 60fps cap. So now let's look at the benchmark using default settings. Please take note of the areas I used in this benchmark because this shows frame rate drops which uh, made me tinker more with the RPCS3 settings. But if you have played the game much further than me and you have found more areas which are also taxing to performance, just let me know in the comments below. So this area is exactly after the cutscene that plays after you cross the initial hanging bridge. So with the default settings benchmark out of the way, let's change to our optimal settings. First let's go to the CPU tab and what we will change is the preferred SPU threads in the thread scheduler. For the preferred SPU threads, I find that the value of 1 gives me the most FBS boost and yes, I've individually tested each of the 6 values. For the thread scheduler, choose alternative RPCS3. I don't know why but it makes a lot of a difference. And that's it. These are the only settings you need to boost your performance. The rest are just for bug related fixes which is not the point of this video. And the GPU is just if you're having a GPU bottleneck. In fact, I am so confident that I will run the game at 4K resolution now and still have substantial performance gains compared to our default settings at just 1442p. Now let's move ahead and see the difference. This is just amazing. Take note that what we have changed are just the two values, the preferred SPU threads and thread scheduler. And in fact, we even raised the resolution scale to 4K. So now let's move on to Skate 3. So the default settings for Skate 3 isn't that much different. The default CPU tab settings are actually the same for almost all my games. The exception will be the right color buffers on the GPU tab which corrects some of the bloom and lighting effects. I've also set the V-Blank much higher to 240Hz for testing purposes. The rest is just the same default settings. The area I strongly recommend to benchmark is the Carvatron. Just go to the challenge map, then locations tab, select university district, and then teleport to Carvatron. I've tested all around the map and this area right here reports the lowest frame rate as far as my testing is concerned. With that baseline area set, let's go ahead and change to our optimal settings. So for our optimal settings, the same basic principles we used in Metal Gear Solid 3 or the HD collection is still applicable. But with a few tweaks that has something to do with the SPU thread values. So first, let's select alternative RPCS3 scheduler. It is still the fastest of the three options on all my games, so there's no debate on that. But for the SPU threads, this is where it gets tricky. Using the value of 1 which we used for Metal Gear Solid 3, this is indeed the fastest option even on Skate 3 in terms of FPS numbers, but it has a side effect which makes the game move in slow motion. So what we'll do now is select the nearest value from 1, in our case this would be 2. Next we move to the advanced tab and select the relaxed z sync. Also, disabling anti-aliasing in Skate 3 brings substantial results. As for the Jaggies though, it isn't something to worry about since we will be running this game from 1440p up to 4K resolution. Now let's look at the results. 
finally, this area now reports 60 plus FPS instead of the 50s. Remember that this is the most intensive area in the game, so if you're able to get 60 just on this spot, it's very likely that you will also hit even higher frame rates as your main average performance for the rest of the game. But feel free to correct me if you can find other areas that are more intensive than this one. One other thing, if you enjoy the motion blur effect and the more filmic aesthetics of the cameraman mode in the visual options, remember that its frame rate is half of your V-blank value. So if you want 60 FPS on this visual mode, ensure that you're setting your V-blank frequency to at least 120 Hz. So that's it. Please test out my optimal settings if it works for you. These two games are the only ones I included in this video since the rest of my games which are God of War Collection, Tekken 6, The First Skate, and Fight Night Champion are already running well. And I hope that the principles of my optimal settings will also apply to other games I haven't mentioned. If you're having problems with your config or you have questions for your setup, just reach out to me. Also, feel free to correct me of any errors I've made along the way. Thank you so much and happy emulating.